Hey guys, we're back out here on the Elkhorn RV, and this big beast right here, it's not really that big, just kidding guys, um, we're putting an air conditioner back here in the window, what used to be a window, now I took the window out, we're going to show you something here pretty quick, you can see what I did, I stood off, or made standoffs, out of box aluminum for the ladder, reason being is I needed more space right here, so we don't want our feet to go into the air conditioner and actually you can get by without hurting it but i wanted to make sure i had plenty of space so we're we've got that we've got some old doors for parts and other things here's the window that came out of it the glass is removed and we have some eighth inch diamond plate that has been cut to fit exactly where the glass used to be we're going to rivet this in with rivets and then we're going to use the ultra black. Now, what I've got here is I've got an LG, Gold Star LG, Samsung, pretty much same family. This one here is manual. Our option here, get Katie out of the way here, was a digital. However, something very big. That one had the grill going way in over here and just barely enough room, roughly about three quarters of an inch to work with. Well, we're going to be over an inch thick over there, so we have to use an air conditioner like this. So now this is two and three sixteenths of clearance that you have, no problem. So most RV walls is two and an eighth. Plenty for an average RV wall. You can put this through the wall of an RV or in a modified window frame. Now, that's what we choose to do. This one here, it says here, input 515 watts. That's actually not accurate. It's actually only about 422 watts, 425, somewhere in that range. Less than 430, even with a uh, dirty filter. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Now, this one claims to be 605 watts. But if you hook it up, which we did earlier, it's pushing 705. That is not going to work not with 700 watts of solar on the roof of that camper this will work at 425 watts this will not work at 700 watts here's the problem that company owns that company however this chinese made version is very poor this version has a samsung motor in it much more efficient frequency drive for a manual air conditioner it's kind of crazy so look below the video i will put a link to this baby right here they have it in the left and right model sometimes but they're built the same to where you have this much space all the way around big amount of space to make it a through the wall air conditioner through the wall and you can see here the seam of the the two parts go together well, this is two and three sixteenths right here. The average RV wall, two and a sixteenth. Now, we're going to crank this thing on right quick. I've got it on high fan and off, and I've got the kilowatt meter right there. Like I said, look under the video. I'll put all the links to everything so you can verify and check yourself. Now, here we go. High fan. It's going to surge under the start capacitor's load. And then it's going to drop. And you can see right there on high fan. Put it on low fan, don't make a huge, huge difference. Watch this on low fan. Low fan's like one watt difference because it's a resistive load. Low fan, see? High fan. About a watt, man. Not that different. But it's frequency drive. It's really a neat motor that's in these things. Now, here's the other part. We're over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this. It's on fan only. We're going to turn it on. And you'll watch this surge up. There, it kicked on. And it should peak around 450, 475, and immediately cut right back down 
if I want to make the video, you know, two minutes long, longer, I can show you that. But it's running right now. Here you can listen. To so there you go. Well, there you go right there. Now, there you are, all the way to the max. And you can hear it, I'll shut it down. Just do it. There it went. Now, back down to the fan. This is why we're using this. 700 watts of solar will have no problem running this in the middle of the day at all. In fact, most of the day. This is going to be our install. We're gonna put it through that. We're gonna mount it in this. Never had, never had an air conditioner. It's wired for one, but who wants a 200 pound air conditioner on the roof of a top heavy camper? And who wants to pay 750 bucks for one? This one only cost 150. All right, so y'all stay tuned here. We're All right, and you guys who never knew how to do this, because I bet you a million dollars you never knew this trick. Steel wool, fine grain steel wool, fast orange. Daniel's only been at this for a few seconds. And look at this beautiful brushed finish. Ain't that sweet? Because you, you're not allowed to make glare. Don't, don't forget that. If you have those mud flaps with these and they're shiny, you'll get a $150 ticket for it in half the states in the country. But look at that pretty thing. I don't know if you can see that. Now, this was nasty, real dirty. See all that oxidation? Now, look at it. The best part is, is he can go to the next layer if he wants to and almost make it mirror finished. But there you go. So, fast orange, steel wool. Make sure you go in a circle and then an X and move on. Keep moving around. All right, let's get on back onto this. All right, guys, to show you how handy we are, we're even removing trim pieces from old RVs. We're going to straighten that out. That's aluminum, uh, three-quarter short, one-inch run uh, angle, and it's already pre-primed. Nice. Daniel's cleaning it up right now, and we're cutting the metal. So I'm scoring it with this, and then we will cut the corners out with the snips. Panel made. Kind of cool looking. And we're just going to run our Dynaflex up in that original groove where the rubber retainer was for the windshield or the window. And let that dry overnight, and we're going to get it mounted tomorrow morning. Kind of cool, huh? Perfect. Back out here on the air conditioner, and you're going to notice why. It's real important that... The AC unit doesn't have vents that are running in like that. And why this design is so great and so much space to work with, I'm putting it through the wall. Now, there is my brackets that'll be used, my angle pieces. And we have, um, over here, we have Kira and Daniel doing the cushions right now. But here is the, the mount. Now, it has a, two types of foam in it. It has a sound deadening foam, a density foam, and then it has an insulation foam, both a half inch and then a half inch of plywood. So that is our design, that's my design. And we gotta do a little cleanup of the silicone that's around it right now, the, using the flex, of course. And it is secured and solid. So we're looking at a grand total of about one and three quarters of an inch for that to mount into. And let me get over here. The air conditioner unit, we're going to lift up now and put in there. So I'm not gonna show you that part. It's kind of complicated for me to walk in there and be a goof and drop it, but let's watch for it and I'll show you how it mounts up and then you're gonna be able to see exactly why we use this. All right, and now you can see it is gone. Now, up here in the camper, we have, and you've seen previous, this was previous owner, so they used it for a month, <laughs> they wouldn't treat it nice, but it's practically a brand new unit, and 
there's the mounting come out real nice and that piece that was used originally for the top it was placed on the bottom you see that and that was just as a filler it didn't really need it now up here inside we have a full-scale air conditioner and you can see why it was so important for these air intakes to be shaped like they are designed like they are and that's why i'm giving you a link to this exact unit so that you can do this too not too bad come out pretty good and now we can it is wired all the way back to the original air conditioner power supply right there and being that it pulls only 425 watts max i've been noticing it's only been pulling about 350 but it's 425 under a heat load heavy heat load so then we'll turn it on let's see if you can listen to that hear that and there we go nice cool air and it's just right too well with that you can't feel no air here you can just start feeling it right there so those little uh vent guides i guess you call them in their directors or whatever uh they keep the air coming out this direction which is perfect because it sends it up into the front that's a great setup right there not bad. Got to do a little rerouting of the cord there and get it nice and tightened up. But there we go, guys. Not too hard. You can do this. You can make this. You can do it.